One of the biggest mistakes I see when I'm auditing TikTok accounts is advertisers choosing the wrong TikTok ad objective. The TikTok ad objective is essentially the foundation of a new TikTok ad campaign, and it can be the difference between success and failure when you're running ads. So in this video, I want to show you how to not make mistakes when choosing your TikTok ad objective and tell you which ad objective is probably going to be the best for you. Now, for those who don't understand what a TikTok ad objective is, don't worry, I'll explain it for you. Basically, when you create a new TikTok ads campaign, one of the first options that you have is to choose an advertising objective. An objective is essentially telling TikTok what goal you want to optimize towards. And you can see here, you have a lot of different goals. You can optimize towards reach, traffic, video views, community interactions, app promotion, lead generation, and sales. And a lot of these may seem pretty straightforward forward, but there are some technicalities to them that trip a lot of people up. And so that's why I want to go through this video, which one you should probably be choosing. Now, when you're looking at these, essentially you want to look at it like a funnel where you have your reach objective at the awareness, kind of the top of funnel. You have your middle of funnel. You have the consideration with traffic, video views, and community interactions. And then finally you at the bottom, you have conversions, which is for app promotion, lead generation, and sales. Now, before we jump into each one of these objectives, I encourage you to follow along in your TikTok ads account. That's what we're looking at right now. If you don't already have a TikTok ads account, Check the link down below. There's a link in there that has uh, promotions and things when you sign up for TikTok ads account, the limited time offers there. If you already have an account, open it up so that you can follow along, kind of look at these objectives with me. So in order to get to this view where you actually choose your ad objective, if when you're in your TikTok ads manager, you come to campaigns. And once you click on campaigns, you'll see a little thing here that says create campaign. Once you click create, you'll see these different options here for the advertising objectives. So today I wanna give you a cheat sheet on what ones you should be using and where you should be spending your money. The first one here is the reach objective. And to be honest with you, if you don't have a massive budget, like I'm talking probably close to 50 to a hundred thousand dollars that you're spending a month, you probably don't want to waste too much money on the reach objective. Cause chances are, if you have a budget under, you know, that 25 to 10 K a month, then you are going to want to get a good return on investment on that money, a direct investment. And with the reach objective, essentially all you're doing is you're telling TikTok that you want to show your video to as many people as possible. And you don't care if they actually convert, if they buy, if they fill out a lead form. And I find that a lot of businesses, or smaller businesses, they just don't have the budget for that. And so I don't recommend using the reach. So that's an easy one. Uh, is your budget over 100K or under 100K? If it's under 100K, then probably don't even worry about the reach objective. That's of course a really random number. There's uh, lots of caveats to that, but that's just an easy way to rule that one out. So ask yourself that question and then say yes or no to that. And then you can rule out the reach. The two that it gets a little bit more tricky is the consideration and the conversions. Now inside of the consideration, you have video views and community interactions. If you, same with reach, video Video views is very similar to the reach campaign. And I'm going to give you a cheat sheet as well here in a minute that gives you like all the differences between these campaigns and the different things that you can do with each one of these, either the, all the different settings. So you can take, take that away. But when it comes to these different ad types, the video views and the reach, they're, they're very similar. Essentially, this one's just optimizing for reach and this one's optimizing for video views. So same thing, you probably don't want to run an ad that is just going to get as many views as possible. Some people may want to, and if that's your objective, that's totally fine. But if you're like looking to actually drive revenue or get leads for your business, you're going to want to rule that one out as well well for the video views. Unless, as I mentioned, you have a top of funnel campaign where you're wanting to get more people aware of your product down the funnel. The next one here is the community interaction. This is if you have a post or if you have a video or a post on TikTok that you posted organically that you want to get more interaction. You want to get more views, more likes, more comments on that video. It can be a really good objective and can have lots of different purposes. But for a lot of people watching, you probably don't want to optimize towards that either because it's not going to get you more sales. And then last but not least, we in the consideration here, we have the traffic type. And spoiler alert, I would say most advertisers are either going to be choosing traffic, lead, or sales. Those are the three that are probably the most popular and the most common, but the ones that people are often confused on which one they should choose when they are starting TikTok ads. Now, just as the name suggests, the traffic objective optimizes to send traffic to your website. So TikTok just wants to get as many people at the cheapest cost to your website. It doesn't really care if people purchase or not. It just wants to get people to the website. Whereas with a lead generation objective, TikTok is optimizing to get people to fill out a form on your website or through a TikTok instant form. And then with sales, it's exactly what it sounds like. TikTok is trying to send people either to the TikTok shop or to a, your GMV Max, your website, or to an app or we, as, as well, you can send those to. Same thing with apps. I'm not gonna be talking as much about apps because those are a less common of a comp campaign, but if you have an app campaign, then you're gonna wanna do this as well. So if you are at this screen now and you're wondering, okay, I now realize that I want to get more engagement on my video so you can change, choose the community interaction. That one's really straightforward. But what I want is I wanna give you a cheat sheet for whether you should choose traffic, lead generation, or sales. So let's kind of run through that. This is the cheat sheet right here. And these are the questions that I want you to ask before you go through these objectives. 
perspective. So the first thing is, is you need to ask yourself, is your TikTok pixel set up? And that may be foreign language to some people. The TikTok pixel is a little piece of code that you place on your website that allows the, uh, TikTok to get data from your website. So it knows when people are visiting the website, when they're purchasing or when they're filling out a lead form. So if you aren't familiar or if you haven't heard of the TikTok pixel, don't worry, I have a full tutorial on how to set that up down below in the description. If you are watching this video and wondering, ah, maybe I set it up, maybe I didn't, I don't know, how do I verify it? Let me show you how you verify your TikTok pixel. So you come in here to your, your TikTok ads manager. Inside of your TikTok ads manager, you're looking for this little thing up here that says tools and you wanna to come to events. Once you hit events, it's gonna take you to a view that looks something like this and you'll come over here to data sources. If you look at this right here and you see a something that says like TikTok pixel for this and you're seeing graph and data coming through, then that means that your TikTok pixel is probably set up and inside of the setup, there's even more things that I'm gonna show you, but chances are it's already set up. If you don't see anything inside of here, then that means you need to go through and set up your TikTok pixel. Once again, follow the video down below in order to set that up. So that's the first question that you need to ask yourself. Is your TikTok pixel set up? Now, if the answer to that question is no, your TikTok pixel is not set up, then here is your next step. You need to set up the TikTok pixel, first of all, that's really important, whether no matter what objective you're running. But then if that's the case, that means that your, your pixel doesn't have any data. And so you're gonna optimize towards traffic. And the reason why I say that if you don't have the TikTok pixel already set up and it's been collecting data is because when you run a TikTok campaign that is optimized for sales or leads and you don't have your TikTok pixel set up or it's a brand new pixel, TikTok has no data to go off of because essentially what you're telling TikTok is get me as many sales as possible or get me many as many leads as possible. And if it has no data to go off of, it's chances are the performance just isn't gonna be really good. So you want to supplement that data by sending traffic to your website so that then eventually people can start purchasing and then the pixel can start getting that purchase data coming through. Now you can see here, I, I have in the, the recommendations to get at least 30 conversions in a 30 day window before you start running a conversion campaign. So if you come into your TikTok pixel and I'll show you how to verify this and you notice that there is not at least 30 conversions in a 30 day window, then you want to run probably a traffic campaign. And I say probably, I'll show you some caveats here in a minute. Now, in order to verify if you have 30 conversions in a 30 day window, come over here to your advanced manager, click on your pixel if you have your pixel set up. And then inside of here, this is where you can see the purchase data. And in here, you can see we have the purchase one specifically, and you can scroll over and there is the total purchase number there. So you can filter this date range to kind of get a number for this. Now, I do have to mention, I personally say a 30 day, 30 day conversions in a 30 day window before running a sales campaign or a lead generation campaign. That is actually less than what TikTok recommends. TikTok, it's kind of the documentation is all over the place, but they recommend a 50 conversions in a seven day window. So if you're in a 50 day, 50 day conversion in a seven day window, then you're, you're really good. You're on the TikTok standards. But I find that a lot of stores, it's, it's hard for them to hit that point. And I've tested this many different times. And I find that the, the kind of the minimum range, 30 conversions in a 30 day window. So take that for what it's worth. The more conversion data you have, the better you'll be on optimizing towards a conversion campaign. The less you have, the harder it's going to be. It doesn't mean it's not possible. And I will show you in a, a couple of examples. There are times when I run conversion campaigns on, when I don't have 30 conversions under a 30 day window. It just kind of depends on some of the, the windows, but I want to give you general guidelines so you understand which one you should be choosing. So back to our chart here, is your TikTok pixel set up? No, it's not. So go through and set up the pixel, follow the video tutorial down below, and then you want to choose the traffic objective. Start running your campaign. And then once you have 30 conversions on your pixel, then come back and run it again. Oh, and by the way, one big thing that I forgot to mention with the TikTok pixel, it's not purchases directly from TikTok itself. The, the way that the pixel works is you place it on your website and it tracks all purchases, whether they come from Google ads, from SEO, anything like that. We're looking for a cumulative amount of conversions, not just ones that come from TikTok ads. If they come from TikTok ads, that's even better. It, it can be a cumulative one. So that's something that I forgot to mention that I do want to have a big disclaimer about. So if you don't have that set up, set those up. The next is if you do have your pixel set up, the next question you need to ask yourself is, are you tracking conversions and leads? Now, a lot of times some people will put the TikTok pixel on their website, but they don't actually track conversions and leads. If that is going on, like I mentioned, you can verify this by coming here and looking at the event type and making sure that you have purchase or lead coming through. If you don't see that, once again, I have a tutorial down below on how to set up the lead pixel and also the purchase pixel. So you can have those come through. So if the answer to this question is no, then set up the pixel to optimize towards a conversion and then run your traffic campaign for at least a 30 day period where you get 30 conversions. If the answer is yes, then you can, the next question you need to ask yourself is, do you have at least 30 conversions over a 30 day window? 
window? If the answer is yes, then choose the sales objective, choose the lead objective, optimize towards that. Of course, choose the lead objective if you wanna get leads, choose the sales objective if you're trying to get purchases. Now, a little bit of a caveat to this, and as I mentioned, if you answer no to this question and say that you have like 15 conversions over a 30-day window, I have seen the sales objective work as well. It just depends on your budget, it depends on your, your product and the, the purchase price of your product as well. If you have a more expensive product and it's harder to get a more consistent sales, then chances are you can start running a sales objective with less conversion data. But I recommend running as a split test. So I test, I, I recommend running a test with a traffic objective versus your sales or lead objective. That's kind of the, the, the in-between gray area right there with the two of those two objectives. Now, as I mentioned, all of these different objectives give you options for different optimizations, if you will. So I wanted to give you just a quick chart. Feel free to take a screenshot of this. I'm not going to go through all of it because I think a lot of it is kind of boring to be honest with you, but uh, I wanted you to have this information so that you can look through it. If you have any questions about this chart, feel free to drop a comment down below. Or if you are like have a specific scenario where you're like, I, uh, here's my situation, which objectives I choose, feel free to drop a comment down below for that. But hopefully this gives you a roadmap into understanding where to start when you are creating your campaigns. Now, after you've chosen your objective and uh, you're wondering where to go next, don't worry, I have a full tutorial on how to actually run TikTok ads. It's a full course, it's free. I don't try to upsell you or anything like that. Um, so be sure to check that out if you're now have chosen your objective and you want to figure out what's next, check out that video right here. If you haven't already signed up for your TikTok ads account, be sure to take, take advantage of the offers down below and we'll see you in the next video.